بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to Ramadan Tips from Tip with Dr. Mujib Hussain and myself. Today's tip is about making sure that during Ramadan we stay healthy and this means that whatever we do in terms of health care we must do from what Hippocrates says do no harm. First do no harm. Mujib, can you elaborate on this? The entire deen of Islam through the Sharia is aimed towards the protection of the individual and the society. And we, say, we find in prophetic medicine that health care is very important. In actual fact, to seek good health is an act of ibadah. One of the Bedouins of the Prophet ﷺ, when it comes to illness conditions, should we sit back and have patience or sabr, or should we seek the cure? The Prophet advised that to seek the cure would be best. So in the month of fasting, whilst fasting holds many medicinal benefits, there are those individuals that are not fit to fast. So fasting can assist with acute conditions, with allergic type of conditions, colon conditions, but those that suffer from chronic diseases of lifestyle, like diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular diseases, there are some that, are, that can fast and some that are recommended not to fast. So very important to understand that our concern for healthcare is connected to our taqwa and our iman. So during the month of Ramadan, if your physician says that you shouldn't, shouldn't fast, it's best not to. Again, there's a very important advice that, you know, one must take into account that health precedes ibadah. You can only have, you can only perform your duties if you are healthy. So never compromise your health. Whereas, yes, everybody wants to make maximum benefit from, a, from Ramadan, but it's very important that you don't just be persistent and fast at the expense of your health. So remember, good health is a, is a name from Allah Ta'ala and, and it is incumbent on us to make sure that we stay healthy. So whilst if you cannot fast, at least Ramadan is there to make all the other ibadah. So with this small tip from Dr. Mujib Hussain and myself, Jazakallah khair, Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.